Hi Capricorn. This is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 17th through October the 21st, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for October the 17th through October the 21st, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for October the 17th through October the 21st, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for October the 17th through October the 21st. 2023 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, this is a peek at your partner. So, Capricorn, your partner has the Page of Swords. Your partner has... The Seven of Cups. Your partner has you, the Queen of Pentacles. They want to tell on you. <laughs> they want to tell. Your partner has the Seven of Pentacles. And your partner has the Star. So, Capricorn. Your partner has the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Capricorn, your partner's telling me that you guys had some immature, premature communication, or they went looking and spying. Mm. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting now, this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Empress for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Empress for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or they're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Capricorn's partner. Clarify justice for Capricorn's partner. Clarify justice for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense. But
But this can also speak to your partner being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or so excuse here. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that they're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with you, or they're trying to explain, give their explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that, you know, you guys are having this immature, premature communication, this back and forth here concerning maybe dealing with something in the justice system or something not being fair, balanced, or just. And they may be, you know, standing their ground here in this communication, okay? Maybe they're kind of standoffish or setting some type of boundaries here. Your partner could also tell me that they went looking and spying and they saw something that wasn't fair, balanced, or just. And this is the reason why they're setting some type of boundaries and standoffish with you. However, you know, they could tell me that they're looking and spying because they're wanting to come in and explain, give the explanation, excuse, or defense, and bring balance here. They want to nurture the relationship further with you. Capricorn, your partner has a seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So Capricorn, listen, your partner could tell me that they're all up in their head fantasizing here. Your partner could tell me there's some confusion. Your partner could tell me that they need to make a choice. Your partner could tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Seven of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that they're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from their past who could be you. Your partner could tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that they're all up in the head fantasizing about you guys reuniting. Maybe they want to come in and explain here and bring balance and nurture the relationship further. Your partner could tell me that there's lies and illusions because someone from their past is in the picture. Yes, and maybe they wanted to explain something here. They can tell me it was lies and illusions and someone from your past is in the picture. And this is the reason why they're staying off of shunning and setting boundaries. They're looking and finding out something here. I don't know why all of a sudden, listen, I have a cold. I have a cold and I can't smell anything. <laughs> All of a sudden, I am bombarded with the smell of green apple nihilators. Green apple nihilators. I can't taste anything. I can't smell anything. I don't eat candy. I'm on low carb. Like, it's not even. I smell green apple Jolly Ranchers. Green apple knowledge. I smell it. It is so strong. And I'm the only person in the house. And it just came when I started your read here. Green apple. It smells good. <laughs> but where is this coming from? It might be children involved here. Let's talk about these children, okay? So it could be some type of confusion going on here concerning children because we have this empress sitting here okay could also be that there is some confusion taking place over something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here okay <clears throat> 
Yeah. So Capricorn, your partner has the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Capricorn, this is you. Green Apple. Ay, ay, ay. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Some strange shit. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention, or they're beginning to recognize something, or they're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Capricorn, I asked what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you're getting their attention. They could be getting your attention. Something could be being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here, or this is an announcement being made. So Capricorn, listen, your partner could tell me that, you know, when it comes to you, something is being brought to their attention because they're spying here. Or they're saying that something was brought to your attention concerning them, and there's some type of confusion here. Maybe they need to explain, okay? They could also tell me that they're wanting to get your attention because they're wanting to reunite here. Capricorn, your partner has a seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account, looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. Green apples? <laughs> Jolly Ranchers? No, ladies, I don't even know. Listen, so your partner could tell me that they're looking at the coins, looking at their bank account. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clear by the Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clear by the Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Hierophant. For Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition, but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that you guys aren't speaking. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition or there's, they have a secret, okay? They have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. 
But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. Destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish, following their destiny. Your partner could tell me that they need to heal individually on their own, or they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn's flying cards over here. Okay, three of pentacles. Working things out. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Capricorn, listen, your partner is telling me that they're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so they could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. You know, okay, I'm going to read it both ways because... Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition on whether or not they should accept an apology and heal things, mend things, work things out with you. They're waiting and contemplating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest because you caused this betrayal. Is you getting their attention here? You apologizing here? You know, maybe you're trying to come in and bring some type of balance and they're kind of standoffish with you, wanting to wait because it's still in this energy of feeling a sense of betrayal here. However, you know, it very well could be your partner wanting your attention. I feel like they're waiting on you. They're waiting on you to respond to their apology because they're wanting to heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. So they're over here just using their intuition you know, do I think Capricorn is going to accept my apology here? They're all up in their head fantasizing about reuniting here. So I feel like it can go both ways. Either your partner standoffish with you because you caused this betrayal, or it's them that wanted to come in to explain, give the explanation, excuse, or defense, and they're waiting on your answer. This is why they're spying to see what you're up to. Capricorn, your partner has a star again. Like I said, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish, following their destiny. Your partner could tell me that they need to heal individually on their own, or they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. For maybe one or two of you guys, children are involved here. But there's a betrayal attached to those children or child or someone expecting here. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending a offer, but they fear that the offer would be rejected. So listen, Capricorn, very well could be an offer coming into your partner that they're thinking about missing. 
However, they could be contemplating sending an offer. They just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, your partner could tell me it's them wanting to heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. They're wanting to come in with this offer. You have them on wait, on pause here. So they're fearing you won't accept the offer. They're waiting to get your attention, waiting to get your answer, fantasizing about you guys reuniting here. They wanted to come in and explain to bring balance here. They want to nurture the relationship further. However, it very well could be you apologizing for causing this betrayal. And they're standoffish with you. They're thinking about it. And they're saying that when it comes to healing things, many things, working things out, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to miss this offer here. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner, Capricorn. <sighs> And so, says, I hope that you can forgive me one day. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is it them apologizing to you? They're waiting on your answer. Uh, <laughs> maybe they want to give you something. I don't know. Some green apples. Some green apple knowledge. Some green apple jolly winches. I don't know. I hid who I really am from you. I hid who I really am from you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Capricorn, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 17th through October the 21st, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace